Welcome back to Pieces to Our Past. I'm Judy. I'm Haley, and this is Bob. And it has been a long time since we have seen y'all. Um, months. Uh, during the last six months, we have put together our farm. We moved. Um, we bought a beautiful farm in Florida. Uh, and we have been busy putting up fence and getting animals and unfortunately losing some animals. Um, but uh, it, it's been a progress, uh, a, a process. Uh, I meant that was interesting. It's been a process. Um, for those of you who are new, um, we are a mother-daughter team. Uh, also um, included are my husband and my son. And together we all work to uh, bring you um, pieces to your past. Um, we go to flea markets and garage sales and yard sales and auctions and Facebook marketplace we find stuff and um, we buy and sell uh, glass. Um, at each video we try to show you between 10 and 12 items that we have picked up that are available in our eBay store which is the, the name of our eBay store is Pieces to Our Past. And the link is down below in the comments or in the description. Yes. Description. Got it. It's been a while, folks. Um, so here we are <laughs> again. Um, we do have a Facebook page, um, which has been kind of dead. And an Instagram page that I kind of forget about and never post anything on. Which we're going to start doing. Yes. We This has been one of the things that we've wanted to do since um, at, we had decided to do this when we decided we were moving that after the move we were going to really start building up um our facebook page and our our business the business is growing crazy i mean if you had told me two years ago when we started that we would be selling as much and made so many friends i i, I wouldn't have believed it i mean this this has been this is so much fun this started out as a hobby and now it is a full-blown business i mean it, it, it is fantastic um, we're, we feel very blessed to be able to have this. So, here we go. These are two figurines. They're made by Boyd's Glass. Uh, they were made in the late 1980s. So they're not that old, but they are considered vintage. Um, the pink lady on, the pink lady is Lady Louise, and she is a pink milk glass uh, figurine. And the green one is Lady Marguerite. Um, I love the glass on this figurine. It is green, but it's got like a milky texture to it. It's not quite slag glass. It's just, it's very unique and different. Um, they measure about four and a half inches tall and they are in our eBay store. Everything you see today will be in our eBay store except for one piece that I'm not sure. This is a Westmoreland black glass plate that has been painted in the style of Mary Gregory. Um, it's a little girl and her puppy. And um, I had purchased a bunch of Mary Gregory pieces at, a, at, at an auction. And I really got into researching it and, and loving the artwork. The original artist who did this design, her name was Mary Gregory, and I believe she did it for a, um, a glass company over in England. And she was just one of their artists and she developed this style and it became very, very popular. And then other artists have picked it up. Um, you will find Mary Gregory-esque pieces in Westmoreland. You will find it in Fenton. Some of the Fenton pieces are absolutely through the roof. This is a Blue Feathers Pottery Decanter. It is a Native American piece of pottery. Um, the artist on this, her name is Little Blue, and it is signed on the bottom. It is a um, uh, gorgeous piece. The colors are just amazing, and the stopper is a complete work of art unto its own. Um, I picked this piece up at an auction along with a uh, wedding vase that uh, was made by the same artist. And um, 
they just that that sold within 15 minutes so that also is up on our ebay store i have become addicted to blue cobalt glass cobalt blue glass whatever you'll find that we do our videos like in one shot we don't yeah. stop and, and we don't edit as much as i wish we could but we don't edit we just kind of go with it and whatever happens happens um this is a uh vintage cobalt blue um, ashtray you can see by the three dents around the edges that it is an old ashtray it has been hand painted with flowers um they're raised they're textured it's it's really really pretty um there was some gold paint on each of the indentations but that has started to wear away um so this would make a great trinket dish or even um even a planter for like the air fern things yeah. that would look really pretty in or there or a uh, like succulent plant or a succulent or something or yeah something. yeah I love that little piece. Here's another blue piece. Um, this is a Jack in the Pulpit vase. I don't think this is particularly old, um, but it is gorgeous. The lines on this, the way the way the lines curve around the, the bottom of the vase, and it is a cobalt blue and white encased in, in clear. So you've got a lot of depth to this piece, a lot of depth. It shows, it, it's just really pretty. Show the back. Even the back is pretty on this piece. The way that the lines just curve up, just, I really like this one. Um, I, at an auction, I found this Van Briggle set. Um, it is a pitcher, a very, very large pitcher. Um, and it has nine tumblers that came with it. Um, I believe it's, I want to say it's from the 70s or 80s. I can't remember right now. I don't think they're dated. No. Um, it has a really, really nice ice guard on it. So it could be used for tea. It could be used for lemonade. It could be used for mixed drinks with ice in them. It is just a really pretty piece. And the tumblers, they all look like this. They're all approximately the same size, but you can tell they're handmade because none of them look the same. They're, they're all a little bit tiny different. Yeah. It's really a nice set. I do have that up on eBay. Um, I believe I have it at $125, but um, we do take offers. All of our auctions have a uh, have the offer um, option if you want to send us offers, and I do entertain them because I want everybody to share in this beauty that we find. This is a hand-blown black glass free form vase with these white and red circles in them. Uh, I believe it, it's laid into it before it cools. It, um, it's not smooth. The, um, the inlay part, the has texture to it. So it's kind of interesting. You can see a little bit. It looks like a fried egg. It's really cool. <laughs> a fried egg with red. Yeah. Uh, it stands about 14 inches tall. So it's got some height to it. Um, it's, it's, it's a statement piece. It's a real statement piece. Um, there were three of them, but they're all different. So I'm putting them up separately. Um, if you're interested in looking at the other two, shoot me a message and I will send you pics. My husband recently got a lot of 134 paperweights. Uh, I am up to my eyeballs in paperweights. Any paperweight collectors out there, <laughs> let me know, because I got paperweights. Um, this is a beautiful penguin. Uh, this is not a paperweight. It, I don't know. He was in like this collection. It would fall over in wind. <laughs> um, it's, it's like a beautiful tealish, greenish blue. It, it, no, let's see if I can get See it in the light there. It's really, really pretty. Don't mind the dog nose prints on my windows back there please oh my god we just got a new puppy and she is like a monster yeah. um, adorable but adorable monster but still um this is not uh, the m word this is definitely not murano um it is probably made in china i've seen this base before on other pieces and you know what it doesn't have to be murano to be pretty you know um 
I do have some pieces of Murano glass and I love them. I think they're gorgeous. You can't beat the quality of them. But some of these pieces coming out of China and Mexico are just as beautiful and more affordable. Yeah. You get more penguin for your buck. Ah, <laughs> uh, this, is this the last piece? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, crackle glass people, look at this. Oh my gosh. I like filming in front of the door. Yeah, it's nice light. having the glass. Yeah. Uh, having the light come through the glass mm -hmm. like that. Um, I have gotten into crackle glass lately. I have my own collection, but I do collect smaller pieces. So I, I am not 100% sure if this piece is up on eBay <laughs> because I think I was going to keep it, but then I decided not to keep it. And then we went on vacation to Disney and I kind of forgot to put it up on eBay. I think that's kind of what happened. So if it is not on eBay, it will be. Um, this piece stands about 16 inches tall and it is gorgeous. It'll probably be on eBay by the time the video is up. Yeah, probably. Um, show them the pontal. I want to say this is Kanawa. I hope I'm saying that right. Glass, um, because I've had other pieces of crackle glass that are of the same style, especially the base. So I'm kind of wanting to say that's who's, who the manufacturer is, but I do not know for sure. Uh, it is just a gorgeous piece of crackle glass. So there you have our first video back. Um, we were, are going to try to do two to three videos a week. Um, I, I don't know how these how these YouTubers do it where they do video every a video every day. I, I don't know how you find the time, y'all. Y'all are amazing. Um, with everything else we have to do around here. Oh. Well, I mean, we do also have a huge, well, not huge, but a farm with lots of animals. Yeah, take so, so. Uh, we will be doing a couple of videos uh, about the farm so y'all can see some of our animals and get to know them. Um, anyway, there goes Bob. Um, it feels good to be back. Um, below in the description, I believe, is our Facebook page, too. I think that's down there. It should be. If not, I will put it in. And I will start, usually on the Facebook page sometimes, I will put things that are not on eBay, and I put them on our Facebook page. Um, so the people that are subscribed to our Facebook page get a jump on them. Um, I, that's what I did before, and it, a lot of people seem to like that. Um, I usually do it with um, kitschy pieces like Fent like some of the Fenton, um, some of these, some of these paperweights I think I'm going to do it with. I have a couple of pieces of bohemian glass that I'll probably pop up there first and I leave them up there for like two or three days before they go on to eBay so you have a um, if anybody wants a quick shot at them they can get them that way. Um, but please subscribe, like this video, leave us a comment if you'd like, uh, tell us what you like, what you don't like, but this is who we are. Um, and hit the bell. That's yes. the one I always forget. Yes. I always forget hitting the bell. I should have a little bell over here. Yes. <laughs> um, so that's it for today. And hopefully we'll be back with another video before the end of the week. What's today? Wednesday? Yes. So we sh yeah, we should have another video out on Friday. And hope you all have a good week. And we'll see you real soon. Bye. Bye.